Good afternoon and welcome to the thorough newspaper analysis for 16th March 2022. In today's article, we have the flawed justice, which has been taken from the Indian Express editorial. And following that, we have the news update and the legal news, which, has, which you know are a part of Law Seco's initiative to keep its readers and students updated with the current affairs that is happening in and around India. So for the first article, Flawed Justice, we have the Karnataka High Court order on wearing burqa as not an essential religious practice has created waves of resentment and the same shall likely be taken to the apex court for their decision on the same. Now, as of the news we have, a student did challenge this Karnataka High Court order to the Supreme Court and it is yet to be seen what the apex court decides on the same. But for the purpose of this article, we will only be talking about the Karnataka High Court order on the issue and how the Honorable High Court reached to this judgment. Now, a brief analysis of the judgment shows that a 129-page judgment upholds the government notification that bans hijab in the interest of public order, unity, and integrity of the country. The court goes into the history of the veil, and it has observed, based on some of the sources of Muslim law, that the practice of wearing a hijab is not Islamic in the first place. It is contested. The Honorable High Court also chastised the petitioners that when they did challenge the government notification that banned the wearing of hijab, they should have also brought in affidavits from the Maulanas. It has also been alleged that the court did not comment on the questions of fundamental dilemma, but gave its orders pertaining strictly to the material issue at hand. So a lot of people have actually alleged that the court could have gone into the provisions of the Indian constitution and could have decided whether the court or the government actually had enough authority to legislate on certain issues which were pertaining to religion. But the court did not walk this path and instead gave its orders only on the material facts at hand. The cry which was raised about the uniform was not clearly challenged and even the headscarves being allowed by Kendra Vidyala is being now brushed aside by the court. A lot have contended that the cry which that uh, the cry that was raised that the every educational institution should be following a uniform. This was not challenged by the petitioners in the first place. They had only said that they were willing to wear the uniforms, but only their head scarves be allowed. And so far, so the head the concept of head scarves, the concept of wearing head scarves, were also allowed by Kendra Vidyalaya. However. The Karnataka High Court did not listen to this and did not take it into consideration. The court sweepingly declared that the process of wearing a hijab may be a hindrance in the emancipation of Muslim women in general. Now, this was something that was contested that when the court sweepingly declared that the wearing a hijab may be a hindrance, it should also have taken into consideration that a big percentage of women within the Muslim community would want to wear a hijab based on their own choice and the same was not being forced upon them. Hence, a sweeping decision on whether it causes a hindrance in the emancipation of Muslim women in general, if nothing else, could be said to be arbitrary. The case required decisions on autonomy, limitations of law in religious precincts and accommodation of the same. However, the court did not touch these issues. The Karnataka High Court has narrowed down the provision regarding rights rather than expanding them, giving the state a blanket of benefit of doubt. Now it is up to the Supreme Court to put the government notification through the test of Indian constitution. For news updates, we have the chair of excellence in memory of Bipin Rawat as our first article. On the 65th birthday eve of the former chief of defense staff, General Bipin Rawat, the Indian army dedicated a chair of excellence in his memory at the United Service Institution of India. The announcement for the same was made by the Chief General of Indian Army, M. M. Naravane, at a ceremony organized at South Block. For the second article, we have Medical Devices Draft Policy, Aims and Proposals. The government is proposing a new policy to reduce India's dependence on import of high-end medical devices. Some of the proposals include incentivizing the export of medical devices and related technology projects through tax rebates and refunds, increasing government spending in a high-risk project in the medical devices sector, and a single window clearance system for licensing of medical devices. For the third article today, we have India's opposition of the UN resolution, which is India has called out on the UN resolution on international day to combat Islamophobia and has stated that this is not a pluralistic approach and the same could divide United Nations into religious camps. India further said and strongly opposed the resolution by stating that non-Abrahamic religions like Buddhism, Sikhism, and Hinduism are also being persecuted, and this factor need 
this fact needs to be taken into cognizance. For the legal news update today, we have no disciplinary action against judicial officer for merely passing a wrong order. Mere negligence cannot be said to constitute misconduct was held by Supreme Court. And this is our first article for today. The Supreme Court reinstated a judicial officer and while doing so observed that mere negligence could not be treated as misconduct to terminate the services of a judicial officer. The bench held that disciplinary proceedings against a judicial officer could not merely be warranted due to a wrong order being passed by him or her. For our second article, we have hijab not essential religious practice in Islam. Karnataka High Court dismisses Muslim girls' petitions against hijra, hijab ban in colleges. The Karnataka HC held that wearing of hijab was not an essential practice in the Islamic faith and is thus not protected under the provisions of Article 25 of the Indian Constitution. The full bench further held that the restriction of imposing an uniform is a reasonable restriction and thus the government order issued by Karnataka government is not violative of the students' rights. For free study materials and TNA PDF slides, please join our Telegram channel by scanning the QR code given on the screen. For additional information, you can also join our Instagram channels by following these Instagram handles. And for any further information, you can always visit www.lawseco.com. Thank you.